Hi, welcome to, uh, this is the f fourth time I've recorded an episode of Getting Over It, and I, sw I will never play this game again if this episode does not record. Uh, that's a lie, I'll probably play this game a bunch, because I have to be it. Uh, so, I've, I have about 15 hours in this game. And I've never beaten it, which is very bad. So that's what we're, that's what we're, yeah, that's what this series is going to be. Yeah, because one day I'll beat it. And you guys will be there. Yeah, but I mean, I love this game. It's a very good game, but this game is very difficult. I'm not very good at this game, as you can observe. It's built almost entirely out of bounds and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. I just woke up though. So it's like eight o'clock. Very angry because so I've been going for an upload every day. And the issue is is I was supposed to, uh, a video was supposed to go up last night like I recorded it I set it to public and everything and then I wake up this morning and I'm like looking there and it's like oh this video's in your ass and I'm like no way it's like yup I even made a tweet about it 11 hours ago of course my fan base sucks and so nobody told me just kidding I don't have a fan base yet 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 is the important word Uh, correct equipment or just by spending in that sense every pixelated obstacle in sexy hike oh my god i don't like this game i can't and that makes the game uniquely frustrating but i'm not sure jazzo intended to make it the frustration is just essential to the act of playing and it's authentic to the process of building a game about a funny thing happened to me as i was building this map I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easy. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault, as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains built themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. That I actually do agree with. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quick set cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Cut my life to pieces. This is my last resort. Part that hasn't happened because the objects in the stores are trash 
I don't mean they look bad or that they're bad to make, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used. That's not even true though. Like, what is he talking about? I put stuff in the sink to defrost all the time. Yes, I am just being difficult because I'm very angry. Because, like, I had, like, a 20-day streak going of new new videos every day. And there was no video yesterday. Not because I forgot. Not because, oh, I didn't record. Not because Leak all the power went out. Because YouTube was like, nah, fam. Oh, you got... If God was real, bro, he would kill Bennett Foddy. That's a threat on Bennett Foddy's life, by the way. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It was not a threat. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about the time when Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift at like the Grammys, I want to say, and then Comedy Central played Fish Sticks for two hours straight. That is probably one of the funniest things to have ever happened. Like lots of funny things have happened. No, I'm doing it for myself. That's culture too. Because I hate this game. I hate it so much. I can just watch Markiplier play this game and then look at the ending. I'll have the same amount of enjoyment. But you know what? I can't do that. You know why? Because this game is so unrelentingly frustrating. This is not even funny. You know what would be crazy? Is if they weren't recording at all. We're going to get to a... Uh, we're going to get up to Oranges, as I've dubbed it. Which is the most difficult point in this entire game for me. And... We're gonna get to oranges in, in this crappy episode of getting over it there. Do you guys think that the Squid Game song is copyright? And you know the one that's like, comma? Yeah, that one. I don't know why, but I feel the urge to sing that one. Or like Burning Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. <laughs> you guys ever like make a really offensive joke and then just kind of are like, bro, that was a good joke. I mean, it doesn't even have to be offensive, but it's better if it's offensive because it's, then it's like, man, bro, that was so out of pocket, but like it was so funny. But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it. You got this far. Feeling frustrated. It's underrated. It's not underrated. This game sucks. An orange is sweet, juicy fruit locked inside a bit of fear. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grape juice. It's liquor. <sighs>
Okay. <sighs> the next obstacle is hands. Or hand. And hand sucks. Hand is the furthest I've managed to get. I don't... Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real... Oranges is my least favorite section in this entire game. And I kind of want to cry. I'll be honest. I can't do this right now, man. It sucks. I had to record four more videos for today. I don't know what they're going to... I don't even know what they're going to be about. Oh, yeah, yep. Every time I pause, that is a, uh, oh, I want to restart. Or not restart, but that's a, I want to not play this game anymore. Moment. Uh, y'all ever read, like, Game of Thrones? I don't mean watch the show, I mean like read the book. I had an idea yesterday where I think that audiobooks would be really cool. You go chapter by chapter, read it. You're like, yeah, this one kind of kind of kind of bad, kind of based, you know, that type of stuff. Like would you guys be interested in that? Whoa. What is I want to smash my mouse with a hammer. The ball peen hammer. It's a ball peen hammer, right? I have to hang shells in my room today. I'm I'm kind I'm kind of excited, TBH. Because I have so much garbage on my desk right now. I have a <clears throat> I recently went and bought uh, like a hundred Five Nights at Freddy's plushies for like seventy five dollars. Like literally almost a hundred. There are some really good ones. Like there was a uh, Golden Freddy like tagless, which is like two hundred bucks. And considering I only bought them for like seventy five, that's a uh, that's a good deal, man. And then. Because that pays for everything. There's stuff like Phantom Foxy. Where it's like... That one is so obscure. That everybody kind of, You know, nobody really wanted it. Whenever it came out. The only issue is, there's one that I love. Which is a little bit. Kid who had them originally. was like, bro, what if I just draw on one like Sharpie? And I'm kind of like, bro. No, that, that is not the way to go. So the wall bit I got has like Sharpie all over its face. I have no idea how to get it out. Like I've tried everything. Because he also has like two other sister location plushies with Sharpie all over him. Uh, so that was kind of, that was kind of funny. I now own two babies. One with tag, one without. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but you know, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. And now I own, because he also had like two huge, huge jumbo plushies. Like not, oh yeah, these are really big, like, what? These are huge. They're like 48 inches tall. I hate this game. This game is probably the worst game I've played in my entire life. Like seriously, if anyone, I mean... I don't want to play it anymore, <laughs> but I'm excited because I'll finally have somewhere to put all my plushies because I also have five of the Sanchi plushies, like the five 2021 reprints. I don't have Fredbear. I probably won't ever have Fredbear. It's Fredbear 
is insanely expensive. And really, it's not even the price anymore. It's you can't find one. Like Lolbit is a hundred bucks, even without the tags. But her face is all messed up, or his face, I don't know. I think Lolbit's genderless. Oh my god. We're back at oranges, by the way. So I'm putting shells up in my room today. No, 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 no. Yeah, guys, I, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, we're, uh, I, I want to cry so bad right now. We're going to... Let's get back up to oranges. But we are we Oh thank God. No. Thank God. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm putting up shelves today. I'll finally have a place to put my two, put my J Schlatt. I keep forgetting that I have Technoblade plushies. It's one of those ones where it's like, I just forget about. Not because they're bad, but because they didn't come in the box. So, I have them in a bag sitting in my closet. Like the bag they came in. Which is a cool bag, by the way. Like, it's very bizarre. Because it's so cool. You know? It's like... It's very interesting. But... Yeah, so right now I have, so what happened was I bought like six plushies before I bought the huge thing of 75, so I have a Toy Chica, Vanny, uh, Orville the Elephant, Baby, Glamrock Chica, and Dreadbear. Uh, and I'm sure you're like, what a bizarre pick list. But the thing is, is that Dreadbear isn't even supposed to be here. What had happened was, I bought Lefty from GameStop. And then GameStop was like, man, dude, you know what would be funny? Is if we just didn't send it to him. So they sent me Dreadbear instead. And I'm kind of sitting here like, huh? And it turns out that Dreadbear is, or not Dreadbear, but Lefty, because I wanted to buy the Jumbo Lefty, which is 60 inches, was sold out. They didn't have any, but they left it up on their site because the GameStop sucks. It's a hellhole. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's unfortunate. So do you guys want me to send back Dreadbear? And they were like, hell no. I was like, okay. And then they then they refunded me my money and everything. Yeah, I still had beef with uh, GameStop though. I'm gonna be TBH. 
I didn't buy Elden Ring there. Because I, I like to buy games physically. You wouldn't know this because you do not know me. But I like to buy games physically. Very excited. Uh, today. Because I, I just... There's so much to play, you know? It's very... I think that I'm just going to have to start doing stuff like through the backlogs category. And then I think that I'm going to have to figure out how to God bless. I think I'm going to have to figure out how to record on PlayStation. I really do because I have at least like 20 games that I need to play that are on the PlayStation. And uh, that is a lot of games. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I can play Oblivion. But if I ever want to make like serious progress on beating some of these games. Some of that's going to have to go on Alex After Dark. It'd be too much of a waste of time. You know. So. I'll figure something out. I'm going to put shelves up. I didn't play Elden Ring at all yesterday. Because my mom needed me to do a bunch of stuff around the house. Uh, I love you guys. Bye. Go give your moms a hug. And if you can't, go call her. Tell her that she's loved. Do that for me, please. Goodbye, guys. Almost goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, tell her goodbye.